water, land, sea, and oceans. They are all a permanent challenge to man and his expansionary instincts. Already for more than 60 years, we have deployed the most modern fleet, supported by professional employees for executing prestigious dredging and land reclamation works. Jan de Nul Group's activities span the entire globe, from Panama to Australia, from Oman to Vietnam. But this company does a lot more than merely dredging. Its core activities also include civil engineering works, offshore services, and environmental works. Dredging and marine works consist of a number of different specializations. Land reclamation works involve the creation of land over water to provide areas for residential, recreational, and industrial purposes. Across the world, land reclamation projects are without doubt the group's most eye-catching activity. All these projects include execution of rock revetment and shore protection works. Beach replenishment is another method used for the long-term protection of coastal areas against erosion and rising sea levels. The Belgian Flemish Bays project serves as a model for other vulnerable areas in the world. Protecting land against increasing danger of flooding is also done by maintaining the depth of existing rivers, port basins and access channels. Through this dredging work, they also remain safe to navigate. Thanks to its modern and diversified fleet, Jan de Nul Group can offer the most cost-efficient solution, always tailored to the customer's specific needs. 87% of world trade flows over water. All around the world, existing ports must be deepened, widened or enlarged to accommodate bigger ships. Take for example Australia, where Jan de Nul dredged 11 new berth pockets and associated turning basins in Port Hedland, the world's largest export harbor for iron ore. In this port, 28 million cubic meters of soil and sediments have been dredged. Such projects often take several years and are prepared meticulously. A dredging contract often includes several diverse activities. For such comprehensive port infrastructure projects, Jan de Nul Group can combine its proven expertise in dredging and civil engineering. continuously invests in ever better vessels and improved dredging technologies. In the past decade, the fleet was expanded by 47 new vessels. This investment makes Jan de Nul Group the owner of the world's most modern and powerful dredging fleet. Every assignment is different, and that's why three types of dredging vessels are used. Trailing suction hopper dredges are used for dredging loose material such as sand, soft clay or gravel. These vessels take the dredged materials on board and then unload them through bottom doors. By pumping through a floating pipeline or by reclaiming using the rainbowing technique. Jan de Nul Group owns the world's biggest training suction hopper dredgers, the sister vessels Cristobal Colon and Life Ericsson, 
each with a hopper capacity of 46,000 cubic meters. Cutter suction dredges are equipped with a rotating cutter head to cut hard soil into fragments for removal by the dredger. Dredged material is not loaded on board, but discharged using a pipeline or by pumping into split hopper barges. Jan de Nul operates the world's most powerful fleet of cutter suction dredges. Backhoe dredges are used for excavating trenches and channels in many different types of soil, to depths of up to 30 meters. Civil engineering works are certainly not new to Jan de Nul Group. They were the company's first activity. The construction of the biggest water treatment plant in Europe. The construction of the underground railroad link schumann josephat in Brussels. And the traffic interchange in Lerman are but a few examples of Belgian infrastructural works that have been realized thanks to the multidisciplinary experience of Jan de Nul Group. Often, civil engineering contracts are put out to tender by way of PPP contracts. The design and construction, but also the maintenance and operation after delivery, are assigned to Jan de Nul Group. Time and time again, these projects are interesting challenges to prove our expertise in project development. Also, due to the input of our own design and engineering department. Our know-how in the field of civil engineering also supports the other activities of the group. For example, its marine engineering works, the link between land and marine activities. In the Panama Canal, for instance, Jan de Nul builds two new lock complexes, each with three vast lock chambers. In all, 40 million cubic meters of soil is to be excavated, and 5 million cubic meters of concrete is to be poured. The even bigger Wasland lock in Antwerp builds upon the expertise acquired in this project and will become the world's biggest lock when completed. Also, renewable energy projects require the combination of both civil and marine engineering expertise. In Belgium, for instance, concrete wind turbine foundations were built on two pontoons, after which tugboats transported them to Sweden, where the heavy lift vessel Rambis installed the foundations on the prepared seabed. The seabed preparation and subsea installation works were executed by our offshore division. Offshore projects are situated not only in the renewable energy sector, but also in the oil and gas industry. Jan de Nul Group specializes in services such as subsea rock installation works for the protection of oil rigs or seabed preparation works for the installation of subsea pipelines. For such works, Jan de Nul Group deploys specialized vessels that can operate at very great depths. The identical full pipe sister vessels, Simon Stevin and Joseph Plateau, can install 30,000 tons of rock per load with great accuracy at depths of up to two kilometers for ballasting a pipeline. In shallow areas, side stone dumping vessels are used. For specific customer needs, existing offshore vessels can be modified to suit. The side stone dumping vessel, Willem de Fleming, for instance, can be equipped with a turntable to lay subsea cables precisely onto the seabed. The full pipe vessel, Simon Stevin, 
can also be equipped with a specialized system on the after deck to lay subsea cables and umbilicals. Pipelines and cables also require landfalls. Especially for these tasks, Yandanul Group has developed and implemented unique, innovative amphibious equipment for excavating narrow shore approach trenches at sea and on land. Within the environmental protection industry, Young Danul Group operates under the name Envisan, a company specialized in soil and groundwater remediation, sediment treatment, environmental dredging, and the treatment of waste or alternative raw materials. Polluted soil, water, and sediments are treated in soil treatment centers or in Envisan's mobile purification plants. Dredged sediments are processed using different techniques, such as lagooning, mechanical dewatering by way of filter presses, or biological remediation. In Belgium, Jan de Null designed, built, and now operates Amoras, a treatment center for the remediation of polluted dredged sediments from the port of Antwerp. This plant is the biggest of its kind in the entire world. Envisan also invests in new markets. In Romania, our environmental division designed, built and operates a treatment center for oil refinery waste. As PSR Brownfield developers, the environmental division is also active in the remediation and development of brownfields for the creation of new residential, business and industrial estates. The expansion of Yandanul Group in all these domains is founded upon a clear vision based on four complementary pillars. The group invests continuously in research and development to build and operate state-of-the-art vessels and equipment using best practice and techniques. These investments are absolutely necessary considering the scope and complexity of the projects undertaken. Customers expect top quality performance and execution within strict time frames. To meet these market demands, Yandanul has its own design and engineering department, which is constantly exploring and implementing better ways to provide ecologically sound and cost efficient solutions. To each challenge, there is a technological answer. The specialized dredging equipment of each vessel is designed within the company and made in our own workshops. This is absolutely unique within the dredging industry. Worldwide, our fleet is serviced, repaired and maintained in work-ready condition. Through our network of shipyards and warehouses, the group can promptly respond to specific needs, wherever in the world these may arise. From the most elaborate dredging equipment to the smallest nut and bolt, everything is identified and stored in Yandanul warehouses before shipping. Thanks to its continuous investment in technology, Yandanul Group is always one step ahead. Machines, tools and vessels are nothing without the people conceiving them and the people operating them. All our employees are experts within their specific field of interest. With their experience and training, they are among the best in the world, working purposefully on every challenge. Training programs are so specific that they are organized internally within the company. 
training and education are a continuous process for all employees. Although we've grown into becoming a world player, we still have the healthy spirit of a family business. Management believes firmly in horizontal management with short, direct communication lines across the entire firm. Whoever works with people in extreme circumstances cares for their safety, health and well-being. Whatever the time pressure and however extreme the circumstances, the health and safety of its employees is a top priority at Yandunul Group. We also care for the world we live in. Whenever executing major projects, such as in Panama, the environment is protected and ecology compensated. Equipment and procedures are continuously adjusted and improved to limit the impact on the environment. Our dredging fleet and equipment meets the most strenuous international environmental standards. Our Marine Environmental Division assists in our observation of project-specific environmental requirements. The combination of all these skills warrants a sustainable environmental protection policy. Four fields of expertise and four strategic pillars. That is what Yandanul Group stands for. A company with respect for mankind and its environment. Always ready to meet and exceed customer project requirements, however ambitious they may be. Yandanul Group never refuses to take up a challenge. <laughs>